It's John from Hive Lighting, and I'm here at the Hive Warehouse. One of the most frequently asked questions we get about the Hornet 200C is how to use it with DMX. So there are two options. The first is wired control, and the second is wireless control. To set up DMX controls, the first thing you're going to want to do is look at the back of the light where you're going to see a switch that allows you to change from local control to a DMX control. When you flip that switch, it now makes the light ready to receive signal either from a wired or wireless option. For wired, you're gonna need a DMX 512 board, so any standard DMX board should work, and a five pin XLR. Take your five pin XLR, you're gonna plug it into the back of the light, at which point you can use the first four channels of any DMX board to control the light. Channel one is going to change your output levels. Channel two is gonna change your CCT, or color temperature. The third channel is gonna control your saturation, and the fourth is gonna adjust your hue. So you're gonna to wanna to go into your menu system. Right now I have it set up with the DMX input set to wired. And you control this by clicking once on DMX input and choosing between local wired or a setting called lumen radio. Lumen radio is gonna allow you to use wireless DMX. You're gonna to wanna to take your DMX cord and instead of running it to the light, you're gonna actually wanna run it to a wireless DMX base station. We're using one from lumen radio, but there are many different manufacturers who use a CRMX or lumen radio system. Plug your board into the wireless transmitter instead of the light. Once you have this plugged in, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the menu settings on your light. Double click to enter, choose CRMX linking. The CRMX linking allows you to reset the light so that it can be ready to receive a new wireless signal. This might seem counterintuitive, but you're actually going to select unlink as the first step to linking the light. Now the light's unlinking. What that really means is that it's resetting itself and it's ready to receive a new wireless signal. Once that is done, you go back to your menu at which point you choose your DMX input and you make sure that you've selected lumen radio. You can exit out and you'll see on the back of the light where it used to say wire, it will now say CRMX. You're gonna to wanna to link with the base station. So any of your transmitters for a wireless DMX is going to have a linking button. Find it on whichever transmitter you're using and that will allow you to link the light. Once that transmitter has indicated that the light is linked, you'll be able to use your board without having it plugged into the light itself. As you can see here, I'm now able to adjust the setting on the light without actually having our DMX board plugged into the light itself. You should have up to about a hundred foot range very easily with CRMX, often much farther. I hope this helps explain how to use DMX with the Hornet 200C.